This is Coogan Cassis for the Cassis and Hilda Show here on Box Nation. We're in Las Vegas with me. I've got the one and only Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. How are you, sir? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. How are you enjoying Las Vegas? I'm great. I have a great time. I'm just in Vegas, a couple of days in Vegas. It's a great time for me. Anything on the roulette? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> have you won? Have you won any money? Yeah. Yeah. He's lost all his money. Okay. Everything he's lost. What? <laughs> Terrible gambler. Okay. Terrible gambler. Okay. He bets half on black, half on red. And still loses. <laughs> uh, you were at um, the Top Rank show last night. Uh, Andy Lee becoming world champion. With yeah. a great, great stoppage win over Matt Korobov. What did you think of the fight? Oh, I, I thought this fight is a great fight. You know, just a big compliment for Andy. He's, he's champion. Right now he's champion WBO. He's, a lot of compliment for him, you know, just for me, Matt, he's a strong guy and Andy, yesterday he watched amazing performance, you know, just a oh, big compliment for him. Who did you think was going to win the fight before? Did you think Carl was going to win? You know, for me it's 50-50 because uh, I boxed, I boxed with uh, Matt, Matt and with Andy a long time ago in amateur style. For me 50-50 and oh, okay, Matt, he's a little bit stronger. No, I remember last fight, Andy, you know. And I think Korbov a little bit his favorite, you know, just after yesterday, Andy is a big respect. They said that Korbov obviously had a great amateur experience, but in the professional ranks he hadn't really fought anyone of any elite level. Uh, would you say that was fair? Yeah, you know, yeah. In amateur style, this amateur style, there's two rounds, you know, just profit style, this is very difficult, different for a lot of people, you know, just and Andy, I think, better for him profit style, you see, just last two rounds, it's perfect good two times, good left hook it's very nice uh, Now Andy has the WBO title yeah. is that a fight that interests you now with Andy Lee because he's got the belt? Uh, yeah, absolutely, you know, just right now I focus uh, for Martin Murray respect him you know just in the future of course I want unification fight and Andy he's WBO champion this big respect you know I think amazing fight for us and not just for us for everybody just for fans for TV unification fight but obviously before that you have a huge fight on the 21st of February Monte Carlo against Martin Murray uh, Gennady, where does Martin Murray rank in the opponents that you face? Is he one of the best, you'd say? You know, right now, he's the best opponent for me from Europe, you know. He's a very strong guy, very smart. He's a good experience for us. I think he's, right now, he's the best opponent for me. How hard has it been for you in your career to get these fights? Because everyone, it seems to me, everyone doesn't want to fight you. So that's from our, our, our side, that's what we look at and we think everyone's sort of avoiding Triple G. But how hard is it to get these fights? It's not too strong. You know, just, I know my situation, you know, this is my life. You know. I know this difficult business, not just for me, for everybody. I'm ready for everybody. You feel like you have to move up to super middleweight to get bigger fights for you? Oh, uh, yeah. Right now my focus is 160. In the future, of course, I want. I want to prepare you for 168, of course. I'm going to 168. I need to ask you about, obviously, Carl Frotch. It's a fight that the UK fans would love to see. Carl Frotch, our IBF middleweight, uh, super middleweight champion. But that would be an absolute war between the two of you. Oh, uh, you know, Carl, he is number one right now on middle division, super middle division. Respect him, he's a great fighter. He's a warrior, you know, just, I think, amazing fight. Would you be prepared to come to England to fight Carl Frotch? Yeah. Why not? Yes. Yeah. Is, have you got a plan to come to England to fight? You know, I I think England, I think in Vegas is better for us. Yeah. Vegas. But for England, better for us. Absolutely. <laughs> to, see, to see Triple G in England, better for us. Absolutely, Not, that's correct. No 10 hour plane, plane ride, so, you know, it's great. Um, Floyd Mayweather called out Manny Pacquiao on TV the other day. Do you think this fight's going to happen, Gennady? You know, right now I'm WBC interim. I have belt. Miguel Cotto, he's WBC regular. I think very close situation for us. And, uh, it's a very important time for, for me right now, you know. Just, and I think first Miguel and of course uh, Floyd and many best fighters in the world. Who wins? 
кто между ними поклял и кто между ними покрыл. I can't, I can't. Respect both. Great champions. Yeah? Yeah. That's, you, you, that's fair enough to say that. So, uh, when, when do you go back home? No. I go to Tuesday. I go to my gym. My gym in I work to my fight. Do you need sparring? I'm available for sparring. <laughs> No, absolutely. I'm not. from I'm from Sri Lanka. Absolutely. They not. call me the Sri Lankan GGG. That's what they call me, a nickname. No, okay. <laughs> they say I hit as hard as you. Um, if you want me in camp, I'll for free. I'll do it. <laughs> you need no time. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Golovkin, thank you very much for talking to, to us. And uh, listen, best of luck with your preparation for the 21st. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you in Monte Carlo. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Kugan Cassius with Gennady Golovkin here in Las Vegas. Thank you very much. I'm Gennady Golovkin, special for Kugan and James. Good boys.